so basically this is what you need to be looking for whenever you are trading the new kill zone okay so you can see here these what we have buy side liquidity here being collected okay so it's either going to be sell side liquidity or buy side liquidity being collected so we have buy side liquidity being collected so the moment we see a high being collected okay it's either we anticipate a reversal or a continuation or a retracement so in this case what you're going to be anticipating for it's a reversal okay so you can see here buy side liquidity being collected so buy side liquidity is being collected and then all of a sudden price drop and when price drop we have a shift in market structure here indication indicating that we are most likely bearish okay so after this shift in market structure we have a fair value gap here okay so this is the fair value gap here price gets to this five minutes fair value gap gap it closes it and then it change direction get to our targeted sell side liquidity so you can see here it's same thing we have buy side liquidity being collected buy side liquidity being collected and then after that we see price reversing back so you can see price just collect this liquidity and then it start retracing okay and then price push back it doesn't get to take out this high here and then we have a shift in market structure as price is going down okay so after that shift in market structure we want to see a retracement so price retrace gets to this level of our fair value gap here close it and then goes down to our targeted sell side liquidity same thing you get to see here buy side liquidity being collected and then we start we start hunting for setup during the new york kill zone which is seven a.m to 10 a.m so you can see here buy side liquidity being collected and then price push down and then we have a shift in market structure here and then after that we can see this candle here pushing into this previously violated fair value gap here okay so this previously violated fair value gap it's gonna act as a re resistant okay so this is our balanced price range this violated this previously violated fair value gap so we're gonna enter here targeting price to continue to go down as you can see price went down and then you can see here we have buy side liquidity and we have this sell side liquidity here okay and we have this previously sell side liquidity here so you can see what price did here it push up and then push down and then push up so we have a shift in market structure here or market structure shift here push up and then we have a fair value gap price comes back to that fair value gap it close it and then it push ups to this level here of our targeted buy side liquidity here so basically this is the same thing if you look at this one you can see that uh, already we have a shift in market structure before we even get to the new york kill zone you can see that we already have a shift in market structure shift in market structure here as price was moving down and then pushing up and price is moving down again we have a shift in market structure as price was moving down and then price pull back to this level here of a fair value gap here during the new york kill zone that's where you're gonna be looking for trade entry into the fair value gap okay so price gets to this fair value gap here and it pushes down and as price push down you can see here you have a fair value gap here if you miss this setup here you can find on you can find that every entry here we have a fair value gap here we have a shift in market structure on this low here there's a shift in market structure price push back into this fair value gap here you enter this your re-entry targeting at least this sell side liquidity here and then you can see here we also have something here we have a fair value gap here we have a fair value gap here also and then price push back to that fair value gap after the shift in market structure here push up to this fair value gap 
and then it closes that favela gap and then push down okay so this is the same thing here we have buy side liquidity here being collected and also this recent buy side liquidity here being collected so you can see price push up collect that liquidity and then it push down it creates this low here and then it push up fail to take out this high here and then it push down we see price taking this low here which indicates a shift in market structure and then price retrace back into this fair value gap here and then push down to our targeted sell side liquidity same thing here we have buy side liquidity and we have sell side liquidity here so after 7 a.m price push up get to this buy side liquidity here and then push down okay so we can see price push up get to this level here and then push down a little bit it create this low here and then it push up and then it push down therefore we have a shift in market structure the moment it push down and then it leaves a fair value gap here so we have a fair value gap at this level here and then after this shift in market structure we see price retracing back into this level here and then boom price went down get to our sell side liquidity here so as price was going down here you can see that we have another shift in market structure here and then we have a fair value gap here another favorable gap so this is can be this can be your re-entry but uh, between 11 between after 10 a.m okay to 11 and 12 a.m price is most likely to retrace okay so basically that's the profit taking hour during the london close last hour so this is the detail guide you can see it here of just what i've explained so you can see here everything it's been laid down so you can see here we have the time everything being explained and then we have the time frame that you're gonna be working within to look for setup okay so this time frame it's not gonna be the time frame where you used to determine order flow because when it comes to other flow i believe you can start from a hard time frame just to look at the directional bias of the market at that time so this is what we have the price action we have the buy profile model so let's look at the buy profile so you can see here this is a little bit like a checklist so you can just checklist everything checklist everything checklist everything checklist everything and then once everything has been checklisted then you have fulfilled all the requirement of the model and then you can take that trade so same thing here this is how you frame a sell setup okay so you can see here we have buy side liquidity we have buy side liquidity being cleared out and then we have a string high being created and then we have a shift in market structure so basically this is what i've just uh, been explaining so you can see the trading setup this explain into detail that you need to risk one percent or less than one percent so but risking one percent it's what i highly recommend okay so you can see that the entry level it's being explained here and then you can see stop loss okay and then you can see take profit and then you can see the trade example which is what we were looking at okay 